नमस्कार वेलकम टू दिस चैनल डॉक्टर ए आर एम्स केमिस्ट्री वी आर डिस्कसिंग थियरीज ऑफ एसिड्स एंड बेसिस एंड इन विच वी हैव टेकिंग दिस पॉइंट एसिड बेस स्ट्रेंथ एंड इन लास्ट टू लेक्चर्स वी हैव सीन सम इंस्ट्रूमेंटल मेथड्स यूज फॉर दिस मेजरमेंट एज वेल एज लास्ट टाइम वी हैव सीन द थर्मोडाइनेमिक quantities which can be used to measure the strength of the acids and bases and here today we will see this third parameter that is proton acidity to measure the strength of the acids and bases <coughs> so here we can consider that the measurement of acid base strength in terms of proton affinity what is proton affinity proton affinity is the power of a cation to hold strongly the acid power of for example if we consider this bh plus here b is a base B is a base, and H plus is acid. That is a proton. So we can understand how strongly this base holds this H plus ion. So this is called the proton affinity, and this states that. <coughs> how stable is this bh plus species if we see that the higher the value of proton affinity it shows that the species is more stable means the if this is a strong uh, if this is a weak acid bh plus if we consider this is a weak acid then it has high proton affinity then it has high proton affinity if the acid is strong then its proton affinity is very low or small we can say this proton affinity can be measured in <coughs> purest form using gas phase reactions so this can be better measured in gas phase reactions <coughs> for example for example if we show this as bh plus in gaseous state then it is converted into b that is base in gaseous state plus a plus b also gaseous state and in this case the change in enthalpy that is delta h is proton affinity <coughs> this is what we say the proton affinity <coughs> so here if this base is if this base is strong if this base is strong then this acid is weak because this base will hold this <coughs> acid very uh, strongly and this will be more stable so this will not be a stronger acid so this is weak acid so this gas phase measurement is <coughs> very easy and simple to understand <coughs> then if we consider 
here that the base is a <coughs> in such in a, here if we consider the base is weak then this acid will be very strong acid means it will easily release this a plus then in such reactions if the reactions are favorable if we say the reactions are favorable then the <coughs> measurements using the mass spectrometry using the mass spectrometry and ion cyclotron spectroscopy resonance spectroscopy can be used to measure the proton affinity indirectly so in such reaction the measurement of such proton affinity is based on or with the help of the mass spectrometry or ion cyclotron resonance spectroscopy then the voltage of the ionizing beam which is used in gas phase the voltage of the ionizing beam electron ionizing beam in the mixture of b and a b means base and a plus is or if we see we are taking here hydrogen here it should be hydrogen not a it is h plus this is h plus so when we are measuring the <coughs> energy or the voltage of electron beam voltage voltage of electron beam in the reaction containing this base and H plus. So we are taking this H plus as H2. <coughs> so if we are using this beam, we can increase the energy of the beam. We can increase the energy of the beam so that the uh, yield or the product of this reaction in the spectrometer is shown the formation of the BH plus so formation means we are considering during this formation of BH plus we are considering the reverse reaction so in that case the spectrometer spectrometer detects the presence of things of this BH plus in the gas. So we are increasing the energy of the beam of uh, ionizing beam of this <coughs> uh, electron so that the pro product shows the presence of this B uh, BH plus in gaseous state. <coughs> then <coughs> we can show the formation we can measure the enthalpy of formation of this BH plus or which can be calculated using the voltage of electron beam combined with enthalpies and formation of B and H plus. So, so this can be used to calculate the enthalpy change of the reaction. So all these parameters can be used to or quantities can be used to <coughs> calculate this delta H of the reaction. So these proton affinity values has a large uncertainty because the molecules involved are frequently <coughs> in excited state. This is because they are provided with higher energy and that is why they are frequently appear in the excited state and in such case the values have a large uncertainty and some of these don't show the formation of such BH plus. Under normal experimental conditions the proton affinity <coughs> must be combined with solvent or other environmental effects to fit the 
<coughs> reactions then gas phase proton affinities are useful to sort out the different factors which are influencing the acid base reactions or behavior of the acids and bases and their importance for example if we use or if you take some alkaline or bases such as LiOH then NaOH then KOH then cesium hydroxide so if we take these bases then we found that the order of the basicity means they are expected to be behaving similarly with the help with on the basis of their strength means we are expecting their basic strength to be equal but they have different electron releasing cations the electron releasing power of this this and this and this cations are is different so in that order we can show the electron releasing power of the cations <coughs> so order of the <coughs> this order matches with the electron releasing ability of these cations that is hydrox so here we find that this lithium has low <coughs> order or power to release electrons then this any plus then k plus has more electron releasing power than all these na plus then cesium has highest electron releasing power and therefore these are strong hydroxides so this is stronger hydroxide because it has highest electron releasing power that is lithium then another point here it is that the proton affinity studies can be carried out in bases like this nh Four plus, <coughs> or we can say the ammonium ion, or we can say this bases. And if the bases, if we take the base, it is NH. Then if we take the pyridine, or we can write the structure pyridine. Then another is aniline. <clears throat> so here, in gas phase, in gas phase reactions, these are strongly pro they have strong proton affinities than ammonia. But when they are taken in aqueous phase. means if all these bases are used in aqueous phase then this is strong base then these two why this is so because solvent plays important role here <coughs> ammonia interacts means ammonium ion here we see when it is converted into dissolving water it shows ammonium ion so it strongly interacts with the solvent that is water but these are not interacting as much as this ammonia with water so they are weaker bases <coughs> so pyridinium ion and um, aniline ion are not showing stronger interactions with water when they are taken in aqueous form so this is what we want to see here in this topic or in this point so we will stop our discussion here and we will <coughs> go to the next point in the next lecture so till then goodbye <coughs> see you next time please subscribe to this channel and press bell icon and like button so thank you very much for watching this